Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our second Saudi eHealth Foundation. Uh, thank you for being here. We have a very exciting day ahead of us, and uh, it's a great privilege to be opening this uh, symposium. Uh, funded by the Saudi Foundation, and I'm very grateful for David Aspiner, who's one of the trustees, who happens to be here on behalf of the foundation. Uh, I lead an organization called the Institute of Global Health Innovation as part of Imperial. And uh, we have a number of different centers in there. And uh, the whole purpose of this institute is about innovation in healthcare. And it's fascinating in all aspects and all facets of this institute the most important enabler in terms of the uptake, diffusion, and the adoption of innovation is data. And that's really the main focus of this meeting uh, and this symposium. And certainly, it's the main focus of the Saudi Foundation. Some of you will remember Peter Saudi in the creation of EMIS, uh, a pioneer in his day uh, when he drove electronic patient records in the primary care setting. I work in a hospital there. We are years behind when it comes to primary care. And primary cares have championed this, and we have a lot to learn from this. I think you know, all of us who are practitioners will also appreciate you know, the enabling the utilization of data in improving quality and safety. We keep talking about integration of care. As most of you will know, the Secretary of State, as we speak, is in the King's Fund making a plea about seven days working. Data will be vital for the provision of that seven day working. Uh, improving quality and safety, integration across boundaries of care. When you talk to patients, they don't actually see these boundaries that we've created as physicians or policymakers. In terms of research in the institute, some of the major inventions out of this university was based on data and the analysis of that data. The huge opportunities in the omic era uh, in the future is going to be underpinned by patient data. So data sharing is going to be the main focus on where we are. We have a, a very distinguished set of speakers. And uh, I'm going to get Nick Timmins, who is a senior fellow in the King's Fund and the Institute of Government, to introduce them. After our opening speaker, and it's a great privilege and an honor to welcome our keynote speaker, who is the minister. His title is Minister of Life Sciences. He's much bigger than that. Uh, if you look at his portfolio, his impact in health sciences, digital health, e-health, and really how he drove that wonderful bill through the last parliament, the Health and Social Care Safety and Quality Act which received the royal assent just before the last election. And no better place. New government comes back in office, taking the act through its action time. And what we're going to hear today from him is his leadership and uh, in the political leadership, and also leading us, disparate sets of clinicians, the users of the information and the data, scientists, as we move in the next three to four years and really translating this as an NHS empowered with information, data, decision making is based on that, and really opening up the future avenues and meeting the aspiration of his boss who's speaking in the King's Fund. You can only do that if you have the right tools in your hand and uh, George Freeman has been the person who will be leading the development of these tools that every single clinician in this room will be empowered to deliver better care, safer care to their patients. So it's a great privilege to welcome you, uh, Minister, and thank you for taking the time and being here. I'll leave you to, the, to your speech. Thank you.